on those rolling. Well, I'm glad I'm here because uh, um, when anybody asks me to be somewhere, you know, it's, uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's important. I think it's an honor. And uh, to be here at, at Greg's request is, is meaningful to me. You know, I'm sort of proud about it. Uh, you know, he, he uh, sent me a sheet of uh, information about, I guess, areas he wanted to, to get, you know, talked about or discussed, and uh, and I and I, and I fit right into these questions because the, you know a lot of discussion is uh, that he's presented to me is about uh, what was it, you know, what was it like, uh, you know, becoming a musician and say going into the music business, let's say, uh, with an agenda that. Uh, was very, very different than what the music business was asking for, you know. I probably was one of the very first artists to talk about race in my songs uh, and to be very direct about it. Uh, and uh, I wasn't thinking about it as uh, trying to get there first, but I was, I was really thinking about this is my, this is what, was inside of me that I wanted to express, and I've done this throughout my whole career. You know, it's 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 been number one uh, to talk about not just issues of race, but issues of people, and the challenges that people have, and the struggle that people have of all colors and all kinds. Uh, I'm adamant about it. I want to see something better, and I've always felt that way. So, uh, so I felt very good about some of the information he was asking me about and the sheet that he gave me. And this is, uh, it sort of coincides with me being here. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Do you have any, um, any comments in regard to the, like, the, the legacy, the work of Sekou Sundiata? Well, I, I think that, uh, you know, the little that I know about him is that he was a man of the people, you know, a man that he put the people first, you know. Uh, I, I identify with that, you know, I, I feel close to that. I'm happy that there are people like that. I wish there were more people like that. Cool, and any, any other feedback about speaking on the panel today? Anything else you'd like to say? Or? Yeah, I, I, you know, any time you know, I'm, I'm asked to come and do something like a panel or sing or something, I take it as something as important, serious. And people, you know, I want to please the people who have asked me because I want to, like, participate on the level that would be, that they might expect from me. Okay. So. And um, lastly, any word of advice or something you'd like to say as an artist, as a career artist that yeah. you'd just like to say to people? Yeah, I think that you have to be smart about getting your message out, whatever that message is. And if you feel that, uh, that the, the hole is very narrow, you gotta find a way to get beyond that and still get that message going. I, I found that throughout my whole career that if, uh, if I wanted to say, write about race, I had to be crafty. I, have, I had to be uh, smart. And uh, like I had an album come out called Don't Call Me Buckwheat, you know? And there was a story behind it. As I was at a Met game, I was at a Met game with Roland, uh, Nolan Ryan was pitching against Dwight Gooden. At, uh, at the Shea Stadium. And uh, I got up in the middle of, at a certain point in the game because I wanted to pick up some Franks from some guys that I was sitting with. And uh, the guy says, hey, Buckwheat. Buckwheat, get the fuck out of here. Because I was blocking away. But, 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 you know, they didn't have a better way of saying it, you know. And I went on the line to get the Franks. I was very upset. And I certainly wasn't going to get in a fight with these guys. But I did 
go home and write the song, Don't Call Me Buckwheat. And then I made the album, Don't Call Me Buckwheat. You know, and when you get a chance, you gotta see the, the album cover. It's a picture of me in front of Ebbets Field the day that Jackie Robinson played his very first game. April 15th, 1943, 47. So uh, that's what I've done, these kinds of things, finding my, 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 where I can jump in and do something, you know. And I'm working on a new album now, working on all the songs first, you know. I got a whole bunch of, whole bunch of new songs and new ideas to shape them. <laughs> And uh, I'll, I'll just continue to do what I'm doing, you know. Uh, um, and that's pretty much it. Cool. And just um, say your name. And... I'm Garland Jeffries. I'm from Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn, Coney Island, uh, Brighton Beach. Love the beach. <laughs> Can't wait to get a little bit warm. I'll be at the beach. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Great.